Hi, this is Alex with TrainMyVA.com and in the next few minutes I will show you a tool I use whenever I want to generate a new internet identity for myself. I'll also share with you the Excel file that I use to keep track and organize those identities. So let's begin by going to www.FakeNameGenerator.com So for example, whenever you don't want to give out your own personal information during the sign up to a site that you do not trust or whenever you want a new alias to promote a product for yourself or to write a customer review on your products, you may choose to go to the site as well. So what we're going to do is uh, run through it very quickly just so that you know how it works. You can choose the name set and this is the origin of the name. You have about 20 different choices. You could make this individual uh, of, uh, with an Australian name or maybe a French name or maybe a Polish name, whatever you like. So let's say it will be an American name and this person will reside in the United States and you have again about 20 or so choices. Further you could select this individual to be male or female or just keep it at random if you have no preference. Let's say this will be a male. Then click generate. Now you have all of their information. This will be Cody E. James that lives at Tory Lane. Now this information it's not just the name and address it's a whole lot more than that. So. Uh, we also have, for example, a potential website that this individual owns because some signups do require a website as well. And we also have uh, the email address. Now, this email address is a one time use email address, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. What we also have is a complex password. And again, it's using both uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers, and it is a very strong and secure password. Then we have the phone number, the mother's maiden name, and birthday. So most of these are the typical uh, blocks of info that you need whenever you sign up for a site or a service. But beyond that, we also have MasterCard numbers, expiry date for that MasterCard number, and a social security number. Now, if instead you had chosen Cody to be uh, a resident of Canada, the social security number would have been changed to uh, a social insurance number. And I'm just going to generate the name and show you what I mean very quickly. So, again, the uh, over here, the zip code has been changed to a postal code. The numbers, again, make sense. And here it is, the SIN number is provided for you over here. So this form is great for adjusting to the identity that you need. That's why there's only 20 choices and not more because these 20 choices are really legitimate with the postal codes, the area codes, the phone numbers, everything adjusted. So let's go back now and I'll show you what I mean the email address. So let's right click on that and uh, here it is. Now we have our one time use email. So, for example, if your sign-up requires you to put in your email address to receive a confirmation letter from the website for you to click a confirm, and only then would you have access to their uh, to their website or services, this is what you can use. That email will arrive here, and you can click on that link from here without revealing your own personal email or any other email for that matter. So. I have tested out the service. It has left me left me somewhat unsatisfied just because I sent it uh, to it from my own personal account and that email was not delivered. However, maybe they have their own internal checkers to make sure that the email is a confirmation letter. So test it out. Maybe it'll work better for you. So let's go back over here and I'll show you how you could organize and store all this information. Click at the top left corner of the information and move all the way down to the bottom right right click and copy and in the provided avatar file you could just paste it right in so automatically the spaces will be eliminated compacting this information and uh, making it very easy to read and at the same time retaining all the links if you want so what also you have provided to you is additional uh, slots for a potentially another email that is more permanent a password for that email if it's a different password than the one at the top and uh, a space for you to write down and keep track of all the projects that you're using this identity for and there's five spots for identities right now but you could always expand it on your own and just make it easy for yourself to maintain everything in one easy file Anyway, this is just a bonus, but the main point of this is this fakenamegenerator.com website. It's a great tool and I strongly recommend it just because the passwords, the information, it's so great. It passes a lot of the security features like the visa number will be tested and it most likely will pass with the number and the security. So I hope you use it in your uh, projects and I hope you use it to your success. Uh, thank you for listening. This has been Alex with trainmyv8.com.